Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today we're going to talk about our March debt pay down and how my budgeting went for this month. Um, it definitely, definitely went better than February. Still had a few un budgeted expenses um, that we'll talk about here in a minute but the big news is I was able to pay down my first second credit card so I have two credit cards paid off so next up we're working on credit card number three um, and I started the month owing that credit card two thousand three hundred thirty eight dollars and sixteen cents so my debt pay down just on the credit card debt, I was able to go from $8,023.65 to $6,831.52. So that was a reduction of $1,192.13. Now that's paying on everything but paying off this credit card number two. So I have two to go. I'm super excited. Um, for my sinking funds, which right now, let me pull them out, my sinking fund envelopes that I'm saving for, one of them is Costco and I emptied that out and that was intentional. So I was building it up with leftover grocery money and then I went to Costco and I stocked up on some things and I also bought some extra food this month. Um, this happens every few months where I eat down what I have and then I need to build it back up. Like I was kind of out of red meat in my freezer, things like that. Um, for, I was only able I think to add $4 to Christmas which is fine, so that's sitting at $100 even. I did not put anything in travel yet, but now that I'm vaccinated fully, uh, I gotta put some money in there. Not that I'm going anywhere exciting yet, but you know. So that's still sitting at 25. Uh, my tech, which is for my Apple Watch, is I put $2 in there, so that was at 12. And the pets, I didn't add anything in there at 15. Now as a recap, what I typically will do here is at the end of the month, any extra cash that I have right now, until I pay off this debt, it's just extra cash. I take out a certain amount this month. For April, I just took out $200 for the next two weeks. Um, at the end of that two weeks, whatever's left gets sorted out through these envelopes and I'll start building Costco back up again. And then yeah. Just like that. So maybe it's a dollar here, a dollar there, but hopefully at the end of the year, it will be built up. And this is just extra. I mean, it's not, you know what I mean? It's just extra, just cash that I have in my purse, put it in there. So we did that. Um, I did have two home repairs. We talked about one of my, called the electrician out. I also had to have the plumber back out, but we should be good. I don't foresee any problems in April. Cross your fingers, knock on wood. Um, also, I took my stimulus check and I ordered furniture. Um, the furniture I picked out was $1,250. So the remainder, what was that, $150 went on bills. So that's kind of how I broke it up. But I had been wanting new furniture and I told myself that if we got a third stimulus check, I was buying new furniture. I'm kind of in some desperate need here. I mean, I say it's desperate, it's probably not, but it feels like it, okay? So I did I did purchase new furniture and I did stock up on food. Now my YouTube revenue or income came in. I was able to send $600 of that to saving, I mean, to pay down my debt. I left money in the account. I'm not building up savings right now. Um, however, I do put money into savings i have two savings accounts going now so i opened up a bank account at a separate bank than where i work and i have all my youtube and side hustle money going into that bank account and of whatever i make 25 percent of that goes into the savings for taxes because i am not taxed on my youtube revenue then I leave at the beginning of each month $200 sitting in that account for um, 
Dollar Tree purchases, postage, things I do for the channel. But mostly it's for Dollar Tree. That's where the Dollar Tree money comes from. I sent $600 because I had extra in that account um, till I figured out my plan. So I was able to pay $600 towards my credit card debt from my YouTube earnings. I still have money in that account. And this account kind of runs on a from the 21st to the 21st because that's when I get paid. But like, so when the 21st rolls around, I will go in, I will take how much, maybe I have $100 left. There wasn't a lot to purchase. So on that 21st, I would say, okay, well, I'm leaving $100 in there. So now I'm starting with 200 again. I'm putting my 25% in the savings for taxes and whatever's left goes on debt. And that's how we're rolling right this second. Then when I get my debt paid off, that money can be used for other things. But for now, that's what I'm setting it aside for. Also, April for me, technically is a third paycheck month. So because I get paid every other Friday, not twice a month. So April, I will get paid on the last day of the month, but that needs to really cover the first of the next month's bills. So for me, the extra check that I don't have earmarked is the last check in May will be a bonus paycheck for me. So that works out well. And my April paycheck is a bonus paycheck for me. So the beginning of the month, I get a bonus and the 30th check, I get a bonus. So that's good. That'll pay, you know, some extra there. And then in May, I'll have that extra paycheck to determine how I'm going to make that work. And maybe, maybe I will be able to pay off three crazy huh three but we'll see how much I owe and how much I'm able to pay with my YouTube revenue because it's right now like I said it's sitting at well at the end of the month let me see I'm gonna pull out the bill for this credit card because I just got it in the mail and I owe so it because there was an interest charge I owe two thousand two hundred thirty nine dollars sixty eight cents so I need to put that on my little piece of paper that goes in here and tells me what I need to pay and what I've paid down in debt. So I take the beginning of the month, I put all my payments towards it. So we're gonna write this down. Um, but we're, we're coming along here, guys. If I could get, if I could get this third card paid down, I would go into May, June, so half of the year, owing about $4,000. And I could pay that off, hopefully over the next six months. So I paid off the little ones first, which is great. But if I could get down to that one card and I could just send all this money, just throw all this money from, so all the minimum payments from the cards above. So I have like 200, 350, 500 a month out of the gate without YouTube revenue, $500 a month could go right to that card and then the YouTube revenue. And honestly, if I am able to um, keep up my YouTube earnings, watch the commercials, then I could be paid off at the end of the year, which would be fantastic. So that's where I'm at. Nothing too crazy this month. I did purchase some things for backpacking, but so fun fact, um, my eye doctor or my eye insurance, I got new glasses and when I went and picked them out and paid, um, my insurer, VSP, was offering a $100 rebate. So I took that $100 rebate and I bought all the stuff for my backpacking trip coming up. So none of that, like my food and the few supplies that I needed, the only thing I'm paying for myself out of pocket is a pair of shoes to walk in because I don't want to ruin my good shoes. So I got like outdoorsy shoes. Um, and that's the only thing out of pocket that I'm going to have to pay for for this backpacking trip, which is fantastic because I did need a few things. Um, it's been a couple years since I've been and things need to be replaced, you know, but so I have that. And again, I'm not, I'm not trying to withhold myself from enjoying life i'm just trying to pay down some debt so if i take all of my bonus money and my youtube earnings and i get myself moving here there's a very good possibility that i could be credit card debt free by the end of the year 
and then start working on my car. I would like to start sending extra payments to my car and extra payment a year to my mortgage minimally. But I also would like to build, beef up my savings because this month, that's the other thing, I took out of savings, which I want to put back, $222.54 just to pay off that credit card so I wouldn't get hit with another interest payment. So I just took it out of my savings, paid off that credit card. So when I get paid next, that money will go back into my savings account, which is fine because that was the, you know, the plan. It's, it's all in the budget. All right, everybody. Well, that is it. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope I could be some type of an inspiration or motivation or something to help maybe you who are trying to get your debt paid down as well. All right. Gotta go. I gotta work. Talk to ya. Bye.